Greetings, it's Ian from RTO here. Welcome to Tuesday, and we've got an album ranking, and it's a bit of a, it's a tribute one. It's in memory of Shane McGowan from the Pogues, who sadly passed away on the 30th of November last year. Now, the Pogues are actually an English or Anglo-Irish Celtic pug band who were fronted, of course, by Shane McGowan and others. They were founded back in 1982. Now, their name, the Pogue, comes from the Irish phrase Pogue Mahone, which, <laughs> if translated roughly, means kiss my arse. <laughs> so uh, that's where they got their uh, name from. Now what they done, they influenced their punk um, sound with traditional Celtic music, including the Tim Whistle, Tim Whistle, the banjo, the sitan, mandolin and accordion. Now they went, when well, they didn't go down too well within the lot, the Irish community, as musician Tony Markham called them, the greatest disaster to ever hit Irish music. But then said, he did then turn around and say, well, they, he said they regenerated the genre. They mean they included jazz in their thing and towards the end, Middle Eastern music. And they released seven albums in all. Um, five of them have got Shane on and two I haven't. So let's have a look at the musical history of... Uh, the Pogues. So coming in at number seven is the seventh and final studio album released in 1986 and it's called Pogue Mahone and we all know what that means and it's the second album that recorded that since Shane had departed and it features Spider Tracy in the role of lead singer. So the Pogues on this album were Spider Stacy on lead vocals, Jem Finna on banjo and guitar and hurdy gurdy, Andrew Rankin on the drums, Daryl Hunt on the bass, James McNally plays the accordion, the whistle, low whistle piano, and New Lamb pipes, Dave Coulter mandolin, ukulele, and tambourine, and Jamie Clark guitar and bass. So the first track is called Halcom, which is written by Ronnie Lane of the Small Faces. Uh, they don't do a bad version of it, actually. Uh, I quite like that. It's not, not a bad track. Okay, next up, Living in a World Without Her. It's okay. Um, I never did get used to Spider singing. It's, 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 it's good, but the Pogues without Shane... It is like fish without chips for me. Um, but he's a good singer, but it, it just didn't really ring with me. Um, then we get a Bob Dylan song, uh, When the Ship Comes In. Very interesting inter interpretation of it. Uh, it's alright. Uh, then we get Anniversary, pleasant enough, nice little tune. A Maddie, it comes next. Uh, they, they just seem not to have the same energy as in earlier albums. Love You Till The End. I think Spider sounds a little bit flat in this for me. It doesn't sound right. Then we get Bright Lights. Um, this is quite an uplifting sort of diddly diddly sort of track. No offence to the Irish, but that's what it is. It's, and Spider does a great job on that one. Or Town. I don't like the vocal on this. It just doesn't sound right. Point uh, Marabou. One of the weaker tracks on the album for me. Uh, then we get a track called Toss Point. Good old fashioned pogues in here. Quite like that song. Four o'clock in the morning. Really good song. It doesn't. It's a good Celtic rock song. Really good. Where that love, where that love's been gone, pretty bland, ordinary, not very memorable, I'm afraid. The sun and the moon. It's the last track. It's okay. It's pleasant enough. It's not a bad album, but at the same time, it sounds tired. 
you know, you, you, they could have, you know, you know what's going on behind the scenes, but it seems like they're just going through the motions a bit. But it's a pleasant enough album, so I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 6 out of 10. Okay then, coming at number 6, we got the 6th album, released in 1993, and it's the first without Shane, and it's called Waiting for the Herb. So it's Spider Stacy, um... Jem Finer, James Fernley, Andrew Rankin, Phil Ip Chevron on guitars, Terry Woods on mandolin, Daryl Hunt on the bass. First track on here is called Tuesday Morning. I love the start of this. It's got a great little bass line here from uh, from Daryl. Uh, and some nice banjo in it. And it's a really good vocal from Spider. I do like that. It's not a bad track. Um, Smell of Petroleum, it's alright, it's an okay song. Then we got Haunting, written by Terry Woods. It's a really quirky, cheeky little number, uh, done in the same vein as earlier Pogue stuff. Nice song. Once Upon a Time, feels a bit of flatness, I don't know, it just doesn't sound right. Sitting on the Top of the World, I love the... Um, mandolin in this i love the mandolin i think it's a lovely sound when you mix it with a bit of banjo as well it's a really contrasting sign it's just the vocal is a little bit weak for me drunken boat now this is all over the place it's a drunken song okay we use that to the pokes but it's it just doesn't sound right it it's too much going on and everyone seems to be doing their own thing Big City comes night. Uh, Spider's vocal. It just doesn't sound right. As I kept, I said before, the Pogues without Shane. It just doesn't sound right. Uh, Modern World. It's got this sort of Russian feel to it. A bit of Russian than Irish. Uh, it's my favourite track on the album, actually. It's quite a good track. Then we get uh, Patch of King, Patch Kinko. Going back to the Irish roots here, I love the funky banjo on it. Absolutely brilliant. My Baby's Gone, possibly my second favourite track on the album. It's got some nice guitar work on this one, I really like that. Small Hours, big boots for Spice to fill for shame. I just don't think he's got the same ring to it. That was the last track. First album without shame, musically it sounds alright. But there's a sort of a change of direction a little bit. And it was just hard getting used to Spider singing. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 6.5. Okay then, coming in at number 5. We have the debut album. Released in 1984 and it's called Red Roses For Me. So it's Shane McGowan, Jem Finer, Spicy Stader, Spider Stacy, um, Jimmy Fernley, Rocky O'Rourden, and Andy Rankin. First track <laughs> is called, I've got to get this right, Trans Metropolitan. Great track. Shine is on fire. I do like this. The Battle of Brisbane. Now, this is an instrumental. It's just one of them good old fashioned Irish folky instrumentals tap your feet stamp your clap your hands you know something that you do on an open mic night in a pub really is good i love that little track it's only a short piece but it's so fun then we get the old triangle uh great vocal from uh shane i love it. it's a very sort of traditional sort of sound really good it's got all the traditional Irish muse sound on it very very good track Waxy's Dargle this is a traditional Irish folk song and it's arranged by the P.O. Pogues just reminds me of being back in Ireland in the pubs on an open mic night at least one person would come up and sing this and do this <laughs> it's really good Boys from the County Hell everyone just forget that Shane was a great songwriter, and this is a fine song. I love the penny whistle on here. Then we get Sh Sea Shanty. 
proper sea shanty. You can just imagine them singing this on the all round the coast of all of the United Kingdom. Very fish in a fishing pub. It's got that sort of seaside feel type thing. Really good. Dark Streets of London. Now this is of course a shame that he's best again. He, he you know, bit bring from London. It, it's about for the time. It's a really good song. Great lyrics. Then we have my favourite track on this one, Stream of Whiskey. I just love this. Shane wrote songs that were stories. And this is a brilliant little story. I really love the sound on this. Then Poor Paddy, which is a traditional um, song. Great interpretation of a very traditional Irish folk song. Uh... It's all about uh, Ray, Railway Navy. And uh, it's a fantastic song. I like songs about the Railway Navvies. Absolutely brilliant. Then we got another traditional song called Dingle Regatta. Uh, so everything that you want about an Irish jig, it's in there. Really good. They also, we get Greenland Whale Fisheries, which is another traditional song. Very, very good. Then we get Down Where the Dead Men Go. A good original song. Lovely Irish drums on this. Great vocal. Then they do another traditional song, Kitty. Another of those songs that you hear in pubs, Irish. If you go and see an Irish band, nine times out of ten they play Kitty. It's a good track. And it's the last track. Great album. It's got a mixture of original compositions by Shane and some very traditional Irish songs done in the style of the Pogues. It just It's a real good mixture. I like this album a lot and I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay then coming in at number 4 we've got the second album from 1985 and it's Rum, Sodomy and The Lash. Uh, Shane's on vocals, Spiders on Tim Whistles and vocals on Jesse James. James Fernley on the accordion, Jem Finer or Finner on banjo, Cato Rawdon, she's on the bass, Andrew Rankin on the drums and Phil Chevron on guitars. So the first track is called The Sick Bed of Colleen, Cochain. There it is. I don't know how to pronounce that. Lots of swearing on it. Um, but it's a fun song. The old main drag. Uh, really good son. <laughs> Sometimes though Shane sounded like he was two sheets to the wind 90% of the time. But he still could sing. <laughs> it's a nice little song. I like that song. The Wild Cats of Kilkenny. Oh, what a track this is. Got a great bass line. It's got like, it sounds like a zither, but I don't know if it is. The Irish drums, I love the traditional Irish drums. Uh, it really is, I love that track. Then we have another traditional song. Uh, I'm a man you don't get to meet every day. Now there's an argument if this is an Irish or Scottish song. So I'm going to say it's a Celtic song. And this is where you get a bit of singing with from, from Kate. Great track. Uh, then we get my favourite track on here, A Pair of Brown Eyes. It's one of my favourite songs by Shans, it's so great. It's all about being drunk actually, it's how, and what you see when you're drunk. Then we get a song called Sammy McLennan. This is about a boozer and a girl that used to work in there I think, oh, that's how I've interpreted it. It's, it's just a fun Turn and cheek song from Shane. Then we have a, a, an old classic Irish song, um, Dirty Old Town, written by D Ewan McCall, of course. Uh, lots of people have done this, the Dubliners, you two have done a version of it. But the uh, the Pogues' version is great. It's a, just a, loves, it's a great song. Then we have Jesse James, and this is sing, sung by Spider. And it is a song about the outlaw Jesse James. Now this was written round about 
since 1919 apparently and uh, it's a great little track then we get Navigator this is all another song about Irish drinking working hard really good Biddy's Bones now 90% of Shane's songs are all about drinking and being drunk and this is no different but it's a great vocal from Shane the Gentleman Soldier. Now, the f I first heard this at school. I love the Ratatata drum on this. It's great. Then we get and the ba and the band played at Walsh and Matilda. Apart from being, this is a very old song. It's about being shipped to Australia, and uh, it's got that Australian folk too to a good way to end the album um, a really good album again there's not much between the albums with Shane on they're all very good this is a great listen again it's got that mixture of an original songs and traditional songs so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.6 okay coming in at number three we've got the fifth album from 1990 and this was the last album that Shane played on and it's called Hell's Ditch uh, we've got Shane, Jem, Spider, James, Terry and Philip and Daryl and Andrew. And the first track is The Sunny Side of the Su Street. Real quirky little song. Another great vocal from Shane. And I love the penny whistle on here. It really is good. Then we've got Sor Sayonara. Little cur quirky song. This is probably one of the quirk most commercial sounding songs that the Pogues ever did. Uh, it's a really good track as well. The Ghost of a Smile, very Celtic rock, some great drumming in this. Good guitars and it's another really good vocal. Then we get the title track, Hell's Ditch. My favourite track on it. I love the intro and the mandolin and the penny whistle. It's a great vocal from Shane. It's very eerie. Really good track. Then we got Locra's Novena. I love the start of this. You've got this great bass and the drums coming. It's quite rocky. Summer in Siam. Very different track. Uh, it's got that Middle Eastern feel, to, that Eastern sound to it. You know, this is the different influence coming in and it really works. Rain Street. This and that go from, from, from Chinese sort of music back to the Irish roots now great little track all them things you love about Irish music Rainbow Man good Celtic rock track some, another great vocal then The Wake of Medusa an interesting track the, it's got it, it's got a great um, upbeat sort of Celtic sound to it the vocal from Shane is brilliant House of the Gods my favourite track on here starts off as a very traditional Irish folk song and then it all of a sudden it kicks in with this upbeat modern jig fantastic track then we get five green queens and Jean another very commercial radio friendly but I love this it's got some lovely um, accordion on it as well then we got Mandarin Rua it's a traditional song if you don't know the name of the track, if you hear it, you know it. It's one of them sort of tracks and it's a good version of it. Six to go is the next track and the last track. I don't politically like this song. It, it's one of the songs I just don't like by the Pogues. It's a bit all over the place. Okay, um, it's a good way to shame to sign off. There's, there's some int interesting combinations on here. We go from East from the Far East to, uh, to the traditional Irish, a bit rocky. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. OK, coming at number 2. Now, these, the top 2, there was not much between these. So uh, coming at number 2 is the third album from 1988. If I Should Fall From the, from the guy, Great... Hang on, should I start again? If I Should Fall From Grace With God... And it's Shane, Spider, James, Jem, Andrew, Philip, Daryl, Terry Woods and guest singer Kirsty McCall. We all know why. 
Okay, the first track is the title track, If I Should Fall from Ghost with God. I've got some lovely drumming on this. Uh, very traditional Irish drumming, that lovely rolling sound. Excellent track to start the album. Turkish Song of the Jet Damned. Good track. It's a mixture of Turkish folk music and Irish, and it works well how they combinate and fuse the sounds together to make this really strong track. Bottle of Smoke. It's one of them songs that you can't not tap your feet to. It's about being in a pub, drinking, having fun. Really good song. Then, of course, we get A Fairy Tale of New York. I love this song. I think it's one of the best Christmas songs. Uh, um, Kirsty, sadly no longer with us either. But now they'll be singing upstairs, singing this song together again. It's my favourite track on the album. Uh, then we have um, Metropolis. It's got a really, really good groovy piano on it. It's a short track. It's only two and a half minutes. But it's such a fun track. Thousand are sailing. A little bit different, uh, poppy sort of sound, but it reminds me of the Water Boys. This one, a little bit. Then we have a track called South Australia. Now this is a traditional sort of Australian song. It's also it's a she shanty, also known as Rolling King and Bound for South Australia. So that's here about trades of you know in Australia it's a really good track I like it then we have a fiesta totally different from the pogues this is it's really it's got a bit of a jazz in it Irish jazz it starts off in an Irish folk and then the jazz comes in really really good track then we get this uh, medley of uh, our traditional songs we have the recruit Recruiting Sergeant, The Rocky Road to Dublin, The Galway Races, all great songs put together. And again, you hear these songs constantly when you go and watch Irish bands and traditional Irish folk songs. Great track. Then we get uh, a song called Streets of Sorrow, Birmingham Six. It's a bit of a cattle political song. I'm not going to say too much on this. We all know the story of the Birmingham Six and Guildford Sport, so I don't need to go into that. I'm not keen on that. Um, Lullaby of London. It's all about being Irish and living in London. Such a great little tribute song. Then the Battle March medley is the next track. Again, it's quite quirky. Sit down by the fire. I love how this speeds up. And Shane does not miss one note. Great track. The Broad Majestic Shannon. A song about the River Shannon. One of the great rivers of Ireland. Now when it goes through towns it looks a bit dark and murky. But when you see it out in the countryside and its splendour. Like most, most rivers they come to life when they're out. And then the last track is Worms. The blip on the album. Probably this is why it kept it off the number one stop spot. It's just a weird track. Doesn't I don't know what it's on there for. Apart from that, it's a fantastic album. <laughs> Great songs. It's got a fairy tale of New York on it, of course. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.2. But my favourite Pogues album. It's actually the one, the first one I really heard. It's their fourth album, released in July 1989. It's called Peace and Love. So it's Shane McGowan, Jem Fear, Spider Stacy, James Fernley, Andrew Rankin, Terry Woods and Phil Chevron and Daryl Hunt. First track on here is called Gridlock. I love the drumming from Andrew on this. It's got a very jazzy start to it. Then we have this great bass line from Daryl coming in. And then you've got this sort of jazzy Irish rock track. Absolutely brilliant track. Then we have White City, song written by Shane McGowan. Dedicated to the White City Greyhound track. Really good. 
obviously sounds like that Shane spent a lot of time there growing up tell it's a song about something that he was passionate about very very good young Mayor Ned of the Hill this is a great Celtic track written by Terry Woods uh, it's got a bit of that big country sound to it as well really good Misty Morning Albert Bridge Jem wrote this it's a wonderful track Jem wrote some good stuff as well and it's got a really nice uh, sound to it Cottonfields it's a bit rock and rolly but uh, <laughs> it's quite different Blue Heaven another good track I love the drumming on it uh, Steady Beat fantastic song Down All The Days it, this starts off as a like a very 80s pop song but then the suddenly the traditional Irish sound comes comes through really really good um, then we get USA one of my favorite songs by the Pogues love the drumming it's some accordion uh, good for tapping track then we got Laura Lee my favorite track on here sort of incorporates the sound of U2 which isn't a bad thing. It's a great song, great vocal. Then we got the Gartaloni Rats. It's a more, it's a very traditional sounding Irish jig. Gets your feet tapping. Boat train, unusual time signature in here for a, sort of an Irish jiggy talk thing. But the, what the main thing about this is the vocals from Shane, absolutely brilliant. Tombstone. And this is a more of an Australian folk song. The start of it reminds me, you know, um, the heat from Peter Gabriel with a, that boom, 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 boom. It's got that, you know it's Australian. It's a great song, one of the best songs on the album. Then we have Night Train to the Locra. It's got a bit of a Spanish feel to it. It's got some Spanish guitars uh, influenced into the Irish music. Love this. London, you're an art lady. Another of these songs about, uh, I think, Shane growing up in London. It's a folky Celtic song. Great singing on this once again. It's a brilliant. Okay, there's not a bad track on this album. Every song on here is telling a story of some sure. Cheerful ones, different cultures, Spanish, English, Scottish, Australian. It's all in there. It just makes it a great all-round album by the Pokes. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.3. So there we go. That's my little, sort of little tribute to Shane McGowan. You can't go wrong with a Pogues album. Put a Pogues album on a party and everyone starts jigging about. And then, yeah, and you can, they, there's a lot of people that, you know, when you go to see Irish bands, they all do this sort of music as well. Okay, um, I'll be back later with a retro ranking of a difference this week. We're doing to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to pick my favourite TV cop show, British cop show themes. Some of my favourite uh, cop shows. Let's talk about the music and a little bit about the shows and what they mean to me. So that's coming up very, very soon. So bye for now.